Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadakimasu, where we try weird Japanese food that fits the theme of the week. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And this week's theme is yakitori. Ooh, so tasty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all so the stuff we've done mm -hmm. is meat on a stick. <laughs> meat on a stick. Simple is, as that. <laughs> specifically chicken on a stick. Uh, oh, so, yeah? That's... Yeah, yaki means barbecue generally, uh -huh. and tori means, well, bird, but I think it's um, meant for chicken normally. So. Oh, okay. Toriniku is chicken, and we got all Toriniku stuff. And we got Athena, because she cookies. smells the meat. <laughs> the dogs are going crazy. Yeah. Chicken's so good. Yeah, they're super excited about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so am I, because of all the stuff we've done, this is almost guaranteed to be the best one. It's just yeah. grilled meat. Awesome. Yeah, so our first item is mm. like a chicken wing. Chicken wing. <laughs> I think, uh, we think that's what this is. Yeah. There's a lot of chicken skin on here, obviously. Now, but is it two chicken wings, I guess? Yeah, there's, just there's bones. Connected. Looks like chicken wings. And I think this is supposed to just be salt on there. But no, there's, I think we got sauce from the other one. On yeah. There. So. <laughs> so it smells delicious. Like chicken. <laughs> it like smells like just chicken. Just barbecue, just grilled chicken. Um, normally. See, how are we going to eat this? With skill and precision. Yeah, because I don't want to like stab myself with the sticks. They're pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I've never eaten yakitori that has bones on the stick, oh, yeah. so that's kind of funny. But uh, generally, this is just drinking food because you can go out and they got little yakitori yeah. stands in Japan. And after some drinking or before or in the middle of, you can <laughs> grab a whole bunch of sticks of meat, chow down. They're like you know a dollar each or something. And Athena is trying her very best. <laughs> Are you shaking? To and steal some. You're just ready to go and get some like that. Uh, you were just trying so hard. Uh, I know you're yeah. going to give her some anyway. <laughs> well, let's get this started. All right. Eat the mm -hmm. That is chicken skin. And it's awesome. No doubt about it. Mm. Just tear the whole thing. So this one is really plain. Yeah, just it's just salted chicken wings, pretty much. It's got all the skin and everything on it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Very salty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not skimp on the salt. <laughs> kind of dry, but it might be because we got it a little while ago. Yeah, and a little bit messy, but totally it's good. Totally worth it. I mean, you can't really go wrong <laughs> with chicken on a stick. Mm -mm. Especially, well, maybe we'll get to one where we got wrong. But. <laughs> yeah, possibly. That's always a possibility. Generally delicious. So, all right. So, uh, specifically, the chicken wing on a stick. It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, would you recommend chicken wing on a stick? Yep. Can't not recommend this. Um, like we said, a little bit salty. The bones make it not the easiest thing in the world to eat. But, I mean, this is almost a universal food. This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely a thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. So this is where you can go wrong with chicken on a stick. Probably. Uh, this doesn't look like chicken. On a stick. <laughs> it smells like barbecue still, but we asked the lady when we were buying it what this might be, and from what we gathered, it is not meat um, per se. This is not muscle meat. This is some kind yeah. of innards. So it's like a heart or some maybe kidneys, innards. hopefully not testicles. Liver maybe? Well, it was, I don't think it's liver because I could read the liver one. There was oh. a specific liver one. <laughs> this is something that's so unfortunately... Yeah, so this is chicken we don't innards. Know. Mm -hmm. Chicken innards. And it's very brown. I would guess this is probably a heart of a chicken. Oh, man. <laughs> and traditionally, I'm not a big fan of internal organs like livers and hearts because to me, they just taste like blood. But and who knows? Maybe we'll get some kind of superpower for meeting the chicken's heart. We will possess the spirit of the chicken. You're a cock. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. I didn't need it yet. <laughs> you can have all of the rest of this, okay, after I try this bite, probably. All right. Well, let's do this. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh god, it's hard. Oh. oh, oh, the texture. Uh, it's so crunchy. It's like cartilage. Oh god. <laughs> Tastes like blood. Very cartilagey, crunchy texture. The texture is terrible. The only redeeming quality is that it's barbecued, so all that carcinogenic outside crispiness Ooh. is good. This could do with some sauce on it. <laughs> I'm sure it's my imagination, but I can feel the heart chambers burst in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if it's your imagination. It could be a heart. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Well, 
What did you uh, you like that? <laughs> it's very Ugh, chewy. I'm gonna swallow it. Very tough, very chewy. Um, hearts usually are because <laughs> they beat all the time, right? Strong muscle. Uh, so dark meat. Ugh. Not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I would rather <laughs> eat that than um, liver for sure. <sighs> it tasted livery. Really? Like that dark. Well, it tasted bloody. Dark, yeah, so dark bloody I agree. flavor. However, but the texture. Like you could feel like a meat texture and then something else inside. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're eating a chicken wing and you get the big cartilage hunk off the there's end of it. some grizzle in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like some And you just don't spit it out, you grizzle. just chew it up and that's like that. <sighs> yeah, I don't recommend <laughs> getting chicken mystery innards. Actually, I can, <laughs> I could go for that one. If you were drunk, that'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe if um, you're drunk, I guess anything's okay. <laughs> all of the chicken stuff is pretty good. Except for liver. If I get a liver one by mistake, I'll just probably spit it out. This one, I'll, I'll chew through this one. Yeah, so. The taste wasn't bad, mm -hmm. but the texture, oh man, I couldn't get over the texture. <laughs> there was this. like stuff in it, and it was weird. I did yeah. not like. Alright, so no recommendation? I wouldn't recommend it unless you like weird innards. I don't know, yeah. I was not pleased. <laughs> I'm going to so say, what do you, what do you uh, think? meh, I don't know if I'd recommend it if you get one. Deal with it, eat it, it's good, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, you can get so so much good yakitori, mm -hmm, that I don't see true. any reason to get the weird energy yakitori. Okay, that's true. So maybe so. not a recommendation, but not horrible, not the grossest thing I've put in my mouth in Japan by far. <laughs> and that's, yeah, that's the truth. All right, so for our final selection, we have Momo. And Momo means... Uh, <laughs> more? It more. really means, it should mean more and more. It means like thigh, it also means peach. But uh, Momo is the king of kings, it's the champion of yakitori. It's just the chicken thigh done up in all kinds of ways. So this has teriyaki sauce on it. Yeah, so this is the best for last, right? It's just going to be awesome. Yeah, if, <laughs> if we were not already really full today uh, from eating a big lunch, which mm -hmm. was a really bad idea. Bad idea. We would have gotten like 50 of these and just gone to town because they're so good. So, let's have at it. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's Barbecue bad. chicken on a stick. That's my favorite. Even cold? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Mm. Totally good. There's nothing better than this. So, if I had like a favorite foods list in Japan, this is up on like my top three. Really? Wow. So good. You got like yakiniku, shabu shabu, yakitori. Hmm. That's good stuff. Okay, so very barbecue taste, very smoky, meaty yep. flavor. Barbecue chicken. It's burned up good, but it's not too dry. And the yaki yeah, and the nice. yeah, and the teriyaki sauce on the outside makes it perfect. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit sticky, very yummy. Yeah, yeah so it's good. Um, I would recommend this one because mm -hmm. uh, it is good yakitori. I don't, I'm sure if we were drunk, it would be fantastic. Yakitori. I guarantee that's the case. <laughs> There's nothing better when you're real drunk and you're looking for some place to land and fill up your stomach with something else. Man, if one of these places is still open, it's a win. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, so I mean, the category was yakitori, <clears throat> and obviously we got three out of three. Three because... out of three. <laughs> Perfect! Because <laughs> we went to a yakitori stand! Oh, that's true. So, <laughs> I don't know if you'd call that cheating or not. Well, let's just say we got two out of three that we recommend. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. And two out of three is uh, not, not half, half bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. So thanks for sticking around, everybody. And please come back next week when we're going to try Japanese chewing gums. Ooh, now those are actually pretty good. And weird. Indeed. All right. So until next time. Sayonara. sayonara.